welcome guys as you might guess in this video we'll start a new lesson which is a race as we usually do let's consider a real world example imagine that you have a company with thousand employees and you want to store the salary of all employees so we can do that by creating thousand variables like salary one salary two up to salary thousand but if we do in that way it will be quite cumbersome and time consuming because imagine like uh, creating thousand variables manually also processing this data would be really difficult but fortunately we can create just the one array variable to store the salary of all in place so we have integer data type let's say we have the, the name of the array in addition to that we have to specify the number of elements of the array within the square brackets so if i write thousand it means that we have thousand integer variables but also i want to say that an array is a collection of elements of the same type it means that when we create an array all the elements have the same data type it means that we cannot store uh, elements with different data types in the same array all the elements of the array have same data type so let's set only five elements of the array and also you can define the value of each element using uh, curly brackets so we let's say write thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand and finally five thousand so we have five elements and we specify the value of the elements uh, by writing them within these curly brackets and in that case we can remove this uh, number because compiler can get this info uh, from the values inside the color brackets finally I want to print the salary of the first employee the salary of the first employee is percentage D and here we write salary but we cannot just write the name of the variable because the name embodies all elements of the array so we have to specify which element we want to have an access we can do that using square brackets and inside of this we write one because we want to get the salary of the first employee finally we can build the project and run it as local C application and here we have 2000 you might get surprised because the first element is 1000 not 2000 so the the thing is that indexing starts from 0 not 1 so if we set 0 and run the code we have true first element of the array so indexing starts from zero in most of the programming languages like c++ java and python it's something that you have to know it's something fundamental about c language also i want to say that we covered arrays superficially because in order to get further we have to know about pointers about the address of variables after knowing these subjects we can get further and learn more advanced stuff about arrays